In this tutorial, we're going to look at the various databases available in OTL. In the top menu under Database, you will find two categories, the Local Database and the Project Database. The Local Database is located on your PC, and every time you create a new project, the Local Database is copied to the Projects Database. This helps when you wish to share a project and have created a specific database for it, which would be included in the folders where the project is saved and is transferred together with that project. You may wish to delete unnecessary databases in the project and keep only those relevant, for instance. You can add, edit, import into the database at any time, either from the database window or from each entity's side panel. Let's first have a look at the noise source database. A new window will open where you can see various categories and sources within each category, together with the source spectrum in graph form on the right. To add a new source, create a new category or select an existing one. The newly created category will automatically list the computer ID it has been created from. Then select the Add Source tool. A new window will open where you can import your source spectrum either from a CSV file or clipboard. You can also export a source spectrum to clipboard and paste it in any third-party software. Let's select Import from File and select the file you wish to import, making sure that the cells are in two columns, the first displaying the frequency band values and the second the level values. Specify the source power or pressure, type and distance and height from receiver. OTL will then convert this to free field measurements at 1 meter distance. Users also have the option to set a default noise source by enabling the Set as Default option. Click Save after naming your source. The newly created source will appear under the specified category. You can enable and disable the graph at any time. Next, we'll look at the Materials Properties database. All the databases have a similar layout with similar functions. On the left, you have the categories and the various materials under each category. On the right, you can see the impedance, absorption coefficient and transmission loss of each material. Data can also be exported to Clipboard to be imported in third-party software. To add a material, create a new category or select an existing one. Then select the Add tool. In the pop-up window, add the material's name, description, and select the type from the drop-down menu using either Delaney and Baisley one-parameter model or Allard and Johnson's six-parameter model, or perforated or plates. If only the flow resistivity is used, then the Delaney and Baisley model is used. If the porosity, turosity, or etc. parameters are used, then the Allard and Johnson model is used. The saved material will appear under the category specified. The Materials Absorption Coefficient allows you to add the absorption coefficient of materials. There is a conversion tool that allows users to convert flow resistivity to absorption coefficients found in the Materials panel in the Geometry Viewport, which we will see shortly. Let's try to import from Clipboard and select the data making sure they are in two columns. Copy and then Import from Clipboard.
The multi-layered structure builder is a tool incorporated in the Olive Tree Lab Suite only. It allows the calculation of the surface impedance of semi-infinite materials and multi-layered structures based on the transfer matrix method. Based on surface impedance, the sound absorption coefficient and sound transmission of materials or structures may be calculated and shown within this module. Results may be exported in various formats for post-processing. Furthermore, created structures can be saved and used as structures in the Olive Tree Lab suite environment, either for room acoustics or outdoor sound propagation. Surface impedances are calculated in both directions, front to back and back to front, depending on which side of the structure is exposed to sound within the three-dimensional OTL model. In the Builder window, you can select a material type from the drop-down menu or add a new material directly. To add a material, either double-click on it, drag and drop it, or use the Add Material Layer button. Double-click on the added material to edit the thickness and color. You may rearrange the materials in the correct order by dragging and dropping the material icon in the Structure Editor. Below the Structure Editor, one can see the overall thickness of the structure and the materials in various colours for clarity purposes. By default, all inserted materials in the structure are participating in the calculations. You may either switch on and off any of the collected materials to see their effect by selecting or deselecting the green tick under each material, or delete. The final database is the Receiver Noise Criteria. The Receiver Criteria database contains various receiver criteria that can be used for each of the receivers in your environment. To add a new receiver criteria is the same process as with adding sources. To merge your project and local database, use the merging tool. A new window will open where you can expand all the database. The left window corresponds to the local database and the right the project database. At the bottom you will see various colors indicating which databases are identical, missing, edited and added. The corresponding color is also highlighted in the windows. Here for example we can see two of the added sources in our local database which are not included in our project database. Select the source categories you wish to merge, and depending whether you are merging to or from the left to right, select the Merge tool at the top. If you have created a database in OTL Terrain version 2 and would like to import it to OTL 3, you can use the Migrating tool. Locate your old database, usually found in the roaming folder and is an MDB file, and click Merge. 
you will then be asked whether you wish to clear the existing data or not. If you clear the existing data, your selected data from OTL Terrain 2 will replace the database of OTL 3. If you keep them, then you will be able to have both databases in OTL. And a new category will be created in the database with duplicates renamed with the same name, but with two to distinguish them. Please note that the transfer process may take a while. To assign database to entities in the Geometry Viewer, select the entity from the object tree or double-click on it to enable the side panel. Select the category and type from the drop-down menu. You can also enter your own custom flow resistivity or choose a structure from the Layered Structure tab or Material Absorption Coefficient. You can edit or add any material from the side panel, which will enable the same window structure as that of the database. Make sure that the selected box is checked for the material type chosen in order to be taken into account. The same principle applies for noise sources. You can choose the 3D representation from the drop-down menu. Then the source category and type. You can also edit and add noise sources to the database, which again will enable the import window. For the receiver noise criteria, you can select a criteria from the drop-down menu or import your own. You can select the barrier type from the side panel or by right-clicking on the barrier itself. OTL also has an absorption coefficient tool which enables you to convert the flow resistivity to absorption coefficient. Just make sure you tick the selected box if you use absorption coefficient. Adding a new structure will enable the multi-layered structure builder directly, where you can assign your own. After saving your structure, just select it from the drop-down menu and enable the selected checkbox.